Hey guys, Scott from Fry Props here to show you a few of the new features that we've added to the PicaVolt controller. Now if you're new to the PicaVolt, at its most basic level it's a motor speed and direction controller. So I can hook up a 12 volt motor like we have here and use the dial on the top of the PicaVolt to set the speed and direction of the motor arm. Turn it up for a faster speed, I can dial it back for a slow speed, or I can go the other way and have the motor arm spin in the opposite direction, again slow or fast. The PicaVolt is also able to hold a 60 second program of animation. So by holding down the record button, put it in record mode, let go, I can program a sequence of forward and backwards, low or high speed, up to 60 seconds, hit record again, and the PicaVolt will save that program. New this year, we've added a trigger input so that you can use a motion sensor, step pad, beam sensor, or, as I have here, a hand trigger to go ahead and activate your saved program. One cool thing that this allows you to do is actually have your motor in an ambient mode. In other words, spinning in one direction at a set speed until it's triggered by your input trigger, at which point it will play your save program. And then go back to playing the speed that you have it set at with the speed dial up at the top. New this year, we've also added the ability for the PicoVolt to control a parking motor. A parking motor is similar to a standard motor, except that it has a factory set dead point that the arm can be told to return to at the end of its program, rather than just stopping at wherever it is when the motor happens to lose power. I'm going to go ahead and put the PicoVolt into the parking motor control mode. To do that, I simply unplug the power, hold down the record button and plug the power back in. LED will flash a few times and I let go of record. Now we've entered the mode select. I can use the wheel up at the top to dial in my mode. I'm going to turn it until the LED blinks yellow twice. And that's the parking control mode that I want to use. Hit record and the motor will enter that mode. And you'll see the first thing it will do is center the arm at the factory set dead point. Now I can enter in a program just like we did before. Hold down the record button. Wait for the LED to flash, let go, and I can record a sequence of anything I want, forward and back, slower, fast motion. Hit record when I'm done, and the peak of what will save that program. Now when it's activated by your connected trigger, it will play back your program and stop the motor arm in that factory set dead point. This means that your prop will always return to that same spot once the program is done playing. In this mode you'll see that the PicaVolt stops the motor arm quite abruptly at the end of the program. There is another mode where you can have it coast more gently to a stop if you prefer. One question we're asked a lot is how do you change the factory set dead position on a parking motor? You can't change the factory set position but you can change where the arm sits on the motor. Simply loosen the nut on the top remove it and then you can move your arm to whatever position works for your application reattach the nut tighten it down now you'll see when I run the program again that the arm is going to stop here in this position when before it was stopping up top And there it is. So that's a quick overview of the PicaVolt and some of the new features we've added. Can't wait to see what kind of things you guys end up creating using this thing. And as always, if you have any questions, contact us at sales at or head on over to the website at www.frightprops.com. Thanks.